Hello everyone, this is our Keep TV bi-weekly meeting. Uh, is everybody hear me? Can anyone confirm? We are hearing. Okay, sounds good. So, so our last we, uh, Keep TV bi-weekly meeting was cancelled because of the vacation. Uh, we, the engineers in Bangladesh, was on vacation. Uh, so, uh, this is uh, almost after one month uh, this is this meeting is happening uh, meanwhile we had planned for release uh, on QDB 0.9.0 .0, uh, rc release but uh, uh, for some reasons it could not happen uh, one of them is because we are stuck uh, because of Kubernetes 1.11.3 release uh, they had one problem of pluralization like elastic searches uh, this person doesn't work with kubectl uh, this CRD, so we thought to wait uh, until the release was done. And they had released uh, a C schedule on 4th September, but they cancelled that. Uh, they could not uh, release that that because of the some of the, their test was failing. Uh, I hope or hopefully some they will release that in few days. Uh, I guess. Uh, our in our end we are working on fixing some issues and we are also adding some features and those features are not so uh, important for development part but from the user perspective those are very useful to uh, uh, tweak the uh, operator uh, uh, just like uh, we worked on uh, adding init containers uh, or providing arguments uh, variables uh, so user can be able to add init containers in the uh, over database uh, ports and they can also add uh, init containers in tools so let's just have a look how many how many not how many for a few of them uh, the issues we are worked on uh, one of them is using exporter uh, directly uh, in, in few days uh, uh, like, till now we used the operator we used the uh, resource or uh, we used the source code of operator and built a uh, com uh, built a common uh, yeah what i say docker image for ourselves sorry uh, and so docker images uh, we built one common docker images uh, now we moved from that and now we use separate docker images for each uh, for each of them uh, so postgres uh, will use only postgres docker image and elasticsearch will, will only use only elasticsearch docker image and uh, the images are officially suggested we take these images from the prometheus the Prometheus website they used uh, we we updated your all our databases uh, this way and the next is we fixed some of uh, HTTP and HTTPS uh, pro problems of Elasticsearch uh, like uh, you know, uh, till now all the connection was HTTPS and it was failing when the enable HSL was not given true so we fix that uh, and now it's working for everything uh, for dedicated elastic searches with enable SSL or, or disable SSL. It, uh, it is working fine now. Another, another, go, uh, another thing we're working on, actually it is merged. And now user can be able to use uh, storage type empty directory. Uh, we had this in our, uh, in our feature user could have given storage classes or user could have given storage classes or only empty directory but after that we moved from there and made a uh, made storage classes permanent we moved that empty directory but now we are getting requests from users that they want to try uh, the database uh, in empty directory uh, before trying it on their production so we are giving on uh, option or 
the they can use spec storage type this can there can be two storage type one is uh, ephemeral and one other another is durable so when ephemeral is given user uh, we will use empty directory to the to store the database uh, and when uh, when there is nothing given uh, there we will uh, default that to durable we will set that uh, to durable and when durable is given user must have to give a storage class that means pvc spec if you see the uh, a peer request you can see the api changes storage type is uh, where the, those uh, it is given to those DW databases who is as PVC or empty directory so memcast is not ha having this storage type uh, this storage type um, comes at two options one is durable and one is ephemeral as you can see so uh, I guess it will be helpful for you just to use it uh, to experiment with it. But uh, for the other other users, it won't be a problem, or uh, they don't need to do anything to be compatible. Uh, we also added some some APIs changes. We also made some APIs changes like termination policy. Uh, where is that? Uh, give me one minute. Uh, I'm finding that commit or issue. So meanwhile, uh, we had termination policy. We uh, when database is created, deleted, we used to create on dormant database. So the everything uh, record was saved in dormant database. Uh, but uh, many user is uh, saying that uh, it they are. They want to delete the database instantly because already we already have do not pause option. Uh, so we are uh, introducing three kind of termination policy. So when termination policy uh, is not given, we are uh, we are using the termination policy pause. That means the it, it we will create dormant database and this will work just like uh, just like previous and user can also give delete or, or wipe out when delete is given we will delete the sports and service and pvcs and but we de will not delete the snapshot so user if even user delete the uh, database they will able to see the snapshot uh, and data and snapshot objects and uh, so and we will not create a dormant database will when user deletes the postgres or, or mongodb object we'll just delete that and we will delete pvc services and pod and when wipeout is given we'll not even keep snapshot we'll delete everything that is related to the database so user if uh, if user want to do anything if you want to tweak anything they can have they they don't like comment addresses they can skip that part with delete or wipeout And we had on issues migration plan from 0.8.0 to 0.9.0. Uh, we are discussing, we have discussed that there are, uh, we have already, you know, I have already discussed in our last uh, meeting that we will use a, a Elasticsearch versions, MongoDB versions, that means DB versions catalog to use to demo, uh, to point out the database uh, names or exporter names or tools image names uh, but there is a problem that we don't uh, we have made some of changes in our databases and we don't want users to fall in problem uh, they, they can be uh, the database images can be not full from uh, half uh, it, because our image policy is not always it is if not present so we are and have some other problems so we are adding on suffix with the person that's that is dash v1 or dash v2 
uh, we are not going to uh, change the surface for each of our releases but whenever we make changes in illustria yeah, in government database i mean in docker files we will use a, 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 a we will implement the suffix uh, from v1 to v2 or etc so the name will be 5.6 dash v1 and here the name uh, image name will be 5.6 head dash v1 and uh, yeah, and that's that way uh, here spec dot there will be on another uh, field in spec and that is uh, deprecated uh, when we will release uh, on new tags of database we will uh, tag the previous one deprecated that way when users come uh, when users de de deploy the uh, zero point they updates the 0 0.8.0 0 to a 0 0.9.0 uh, user we will not process that deprecated part user have to update that their crd version they have to update the uh, database versions from 5.6 to 5.6 dash v1 after only after that we will process that crd and we will create stateful sets and exporters and all uh, other things and just like that we are uh, using this because there can be user can be uh, user can be sensitive about their uh, anything going bad with uh, doing to uh, because we are not sure what there will be backward compatible problem or not there can be something see uh, happening or not and this is a very sensitive database is very sensitive so we are just don't want to process the old database with our current operator and that way everything will be safe like this we have another change in API machinery that is uh, uh, rolling update. Uh, currently, uh, it is we are using the default uh, rolling uh, update policy uh, of Kubernetes. But uh, from now on, user can able to user will be able to give on delete or uh, rolling update strategy any of them. So uh, they, it will be more um, so. And the database will be more available more uh yeah available and the pull request was i can find it It is not here right now. Anyway, we had uh, uh, we have solved some of uh, all, uh, some of our other issues as well, some little issues, but very important, very epic. So that's all. That's uh everything we ought uh for since last uh, last uh, last meeting uh, we, we are doing uh, we are working on the transmission policy right now uh, after uh, we are after uh, when we are done with that we will be able to uh, update our docs and we hope we will cut a rc release in our next week uh, last time we, I said that with confidence that how we're going to release that in time, but it didn't happen. So let's see. We're hopeful to release it to release on RC in our last in last week. So God bless. Uh, so if anyone have any questions. Emrose. I guess uh, Imruz and, and I am or we are both working in this QBB project uh, since a couple of months. Uh, so we so pray for us that we can release that in time. So I think nobody has any questions uh, right now. Um, this is the uh, ending of the meeting, I guess. Uh, let's see. Hope.
hopeful to see a couple of few more guys in the next hour meeting. Thanks, everyone. I'm Mr. D. I'm stopping the recording. <laughs>